tonight's topic, we're going to we're going to skip a our religious story tonight. We're going to go right into our just topic for tonight. And tonight's topic is uh, the angry atheist. Why are we so angry? You know, there being an atheist, sometimes we get a little zealous in what we're talking about. But when is too far? When is going? When we talk with a, a, a Christian or a Muslim or whenever, when is it too far? When we get to such a heated debate that sometimes we have a tendency to step over the line. In our fervor to, you know, help people to see reason and think rationally, sometimes we get angry about it. And because we're expecting them to think about the, the process the way we did. And when we can't get them to see that, sometimes we get angry. There are good reasons for us to sometimes get angry about something. Like, for example, when religion is pushed into our government, then we get a chance, we get a tendency to get a little uppity about that kind of stuff because you're, if you're pushing religion into our government, it doesn't belong there. But on a person to person level, it's a whole different subject. And we're going to start the time now and, uh, we're going to put, uh, seven minutes here up on the clock here we go and we're going to start the time now well i'm i'm an atheist but not an angry atheist because i, I think you get the more sugar you get you you i can't talk tonight let's get this right i'm not an angry atheist because you can't can't get an audience when you're being angry with someone, but those darn Christians get you riled up. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, do we all talk at the same time? No, or? keep going, Medusa. Keep keep going. Oh, okay. Uh, but I think I I'm not like other atheists. Most atheists are really in your face. And I don't think you get anywhere with somebody if you denigrate them. So, uh, like for instance, I, and I keep bringing Muhammad up. His ears must be burning. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Joe knows Muhammad. Uh, now, I'm sure Muhammad would love it if I would convert to Islam. He'd be jumping up and down. That's just not going to happen, though. Uh <laughs> I love the outfits, babe, but, you know, I don't like the religion, religious rules there. Right. Uh, so, I, I t tend to be more friendly with Christians and other angry atheists because I think I get my point across uh, in a better uh, uh, situation like that. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to add on that, Medusa? Uh, no, I'm waiting for somebody to jump in. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll, ju I'll jump in. All right, go ahead, Joe. Am I echoing? Yeah, you're on. Go ahead. Am I echoing? No. You, you just, okay. go ahead, just go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, you had mentioned um, people. Um, I am echoing. It's annoying me. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, when do you go too far in a debate, when you get really angry. I think if you're getting to the point in a debate where you're angry about it, then you should just stop talking. Or if one person says, hey, listen, I don't want to talk about this anymore, then you just drop it. Right. But uh, the topic is when is atheism going too far? And historically, religion has been given a free reign. Mm -hmm. Religion spreads its message far and wide uh, with their rituals, TV shows, books, billboards. Uh, and the religious message has always uh, – given this free pass, it was impolite to question religion. Mm -hmm. And if you were a non-believer, you had to sit down and shut up uh, and and just, you know, and stop being rude. Uh, in medieval times, if you were a non-believer, you had to go uh, so far as to pretend that you did believe or the Inquisition might burn you at the stake. Yep. In some modern-day countries, it's still like that. There are atheist bloggers right now in jail on blasphemy charges in Bangladesh. Yep. The Muslims in that country are demanding that they be put to death. Yeah, because they, they insulted their god. Right, exactly. So uh, now an atheist group comes along and buys a bus billboard and they're going too far? Yeah. You know? I mean, uh, the days of sit down and shut up are over, I think. And uh, it's time to say it loud, say it proud. I don't believe that stuff, and I'm not ashamed of it. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that right there. That's not what I'm talking about. It's being... Uh, 
being out is is something we should as an atheist if you can come out please do but if you can't because it's going to ruin your uh, personal life you could lose your job uh, your marriage. life or your marriage well you know, well it's you, there's, there's a, you know, yeah but I'm just saying don't worry about marriage because you know some you'll find somebody else better if they the, <laughs> <laughs> easier said than done. I know it's easier said than done, but you may find something more compatible then because you know that it does happen. Right. But I'm married a Catholic. So yeah. then, so then, what are you talking about, Packard? Um, going too far. Like, I'm talking is when I'm talking about going too far. I mean, when you're talking to somebody and then you get angry because you, you said it right there perfectly earlier that if you you find yourself getting angry, frustrated, that you're that you just cannot, you're just attacking. And you know right. you're you're going overboard, way overboard. Well, then, well, then that is too far because debating is supposed to be a uh, intellectual endeavor. You know, I learn from the people I'm debating. Hopefully, they're learning from me. We're discussing ideas. It's a little bit of chess, you know, mm -hmm. and right. it's just a discussion. We're talking about things. Now, some people get really emotional when they talk about that stuff. I've had believers say that I'm attacking them, and I'm like, listen, if you think I'm attacking you, then let's stop talking about it because I don't really care. <laughs> Exactly. This is all for my own <laughs> entertainment, really. So, uh, it's you know, sport. exactly, exactly. Like, you know, I don't want you like, you know, crying your eyes out or being pissed off at me. Like, just let's stop well, talking I, about it. I, I did have a Christian cry one day, and it it shocked me because I wasn't attacking her at all. Mm -hmm. I was attacking mm -hmm. the Bible. And yeah, some people when they're when you're talk, talking about their religion. They get really uppity about that. I mean, if you're not even attacking, you're not even attacking them. You're just attacking the religion. And I think that's, I think personally, I think that's fair game. If you're attacking them personally, that's a different story. But right, you know, well, people hold their beliefs so deeply that it they it becomes ingrained. They consider it part of themselves. Yeah, I so know, and they should. I don't think they should. I don't right, think I know. I, I, beliefs are just ideas. The right. Religions are just ideas. And so when people, when you question them, some people feel like, oh, well, you're attacking me personally because this is who I am. Yeah, when no, really, it's, it's just what your parents told you to believe when you were growing up. So Right, exactly. And this is, this is not who they are, but they, they take on the persona. They think they're walking around, walking, talking Bibles, which they've never actually, most of them never actually read. So, they, Well, let's say they're into Nietzsche and they've read everything about Nietzsche and they believe Nietzsche's a god and Nietzsche can do no wrong and you discuss Nietzsche with them and they lose it yeah well like yeah you can say that <laughs> yeah, about yeah. you can say that about a, a person with a, a favorite basketball fan or, or yeah same thing it, it, you think cares? you're taking per it's who, who cares you know the, the, the season's going to change you know you're getting different players who, who who cares in the long run the, with the the reason why I guess they hold on to their religion because they think it's going to last forever well it doesn't because, but like I said, it, it's not so much about them. It's about us going too far. And that is our time. <coughs> so this was a very interesting discussion. Uh, we may vi revisit this again uh, sometime in the future. Uh, but for right now, if you're out there, if you're an atheist, you know, like the, everybody here on the show, uh, well, Crystal's not up uh, up on the panel tonight, but she and she's, she's not, an honorary atheist. She's an honorary atheist, right? Even though she doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she loves it. Sorry, sister. She's she always says she's our token atheist, as it were. Um, <laughs> that uh, actually that, that description doesn't even fit. Um, but if you're an atheist out there and you're having a discussion with some of these religious people. I mean, unless they, they unless they really start pushing and and they're just way off the nut, then then you can be angry all you want. But otherwise, the most general public, the most general public out there, it, it, Medusa said it also, you attract more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, although I I think that's the reverse actually. But you got to be some of these people, you have to teach, teach them with t with kid gloves. I mean, you talk about it. Yes, but don't attack. You know, because mm -hmm. some people are, they will not respond to it, and if they don't want to talk about it, then you leave it at that, and then just because it's, drop it's it. you, you but if they bring it up on somebody, but if they bring oh, yeah. it up, if then they bring it up or ask your opinion, then you, and, then, and the, then you offer it, and then they turn around and say you're attacking them. No, uh, uh, no, I'm I'm completely agree with you there. I completely yeah. agree with you there. So if they offer your opinion or they offer to discuss it with you. That's a whole other issue. But, you know, there's a lot of people that say go out and preach atheism. Well, th there are those people out there, too. 
And I I have no problem with that. If they're just generally talking, like on Twitter, there they actually you know they say some pretty bold things out there, and I, I, a lot of it I agree with. Some of it I don't, but ninety uh, percent uh, of it I do. But it's I, some of it I think I just find funny. But that's just because I have a weird sense of oh, humor. They hate that. Yes, I know. So <laughs> don't laugh at them. Right. Well, there's an, there's an old saying: if you don't want your beliefs laughed at, don't have funny beliefs. <laughs> that's simple. That's simple.